my name is Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a stone that um, is another special request from one of you out there. So thank you for putting in the request. They're super helpful. I love doing them. I love to be able to be challenged to do new things. So anytime any of you have any requests, please feel free to comment um, or message me and I would love to be able to do a tutorial for you. So today we are going to be doing something that I've had actually many requests for. Um, I haven't actually put out the tutorial for this uh, for a while um, just because it's kind of a unique technique that I use for a lot of my paintings and so it's kind of something that was a unique style to me. Um, but I thought I've been asked many times and that it's time to uh, maybe share one of my little uh, hidden secrets that I've kept for a little while. So the pebble uh, technique that I'm talking about um, you can see here in uh, the mermaid painting the pebbles that are down below and uh, I think this one here um, you can see down below here so this is what we're going to learn how to do today I'm going to do it on a stone um, I'm just going to use my three inch uh, uh, gypsum stones that I create you can do this on any stone that you like uh, we are going to do a design for it and then um, we're going to do a flower design in the center. It's going to be kind of like a garden stone. So it's going to have a garden um, in the center and then we're going to do the pebbles all around the outside. So I'm really excited for this design and I hope you are too. And we're going to get started. So, so for the pebble colors, you're going to want to have a mixture of uh, black and white and then different shades of gray, different shades of brown. Um, it doesn't really matter uh, the exact ones. They don't have to be the same as mine. They're just kind of all of those neutral tones. You're going to want to bring those together. And then in the middle we're going to do, uh, we'll need green for um, part of the garden and the grass. And then a flower we're going to do. So, so you can pick the colors of the flower you want. Probably um, a range of, you know, four or five colors. And we're going to do some petal, petal work for the design of the flower. And uh, we're going to get started. I will post the paint colors that I choose as well. So if you'd like to follow along exactly, then you're more than welcome to do that. Otherwise, you can pick your color palette and uh, we'll get started. Started.
Thank you.